Hey guys, how you doing? And uh, I kind of have to start imaging from the backyard for a while, I think. Unfortunately, I won't be able to travel to some dark skies purely because of isolation and lockdown in the crazy world that we're living in right now. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about something positive, and that's some astrophotography. Now, since the last time I used this scope, um, which has been quite a while, so I haven't been able to finish off Project Orion, but since then, I've made a couple little alterations and in my dew shield I've made a tiny little cutout for my cables to run through because if you remember I made a little mask up for the cables to run off that. Uh, I decided I'm going to try this um, and to be honest with you that's all I've really done um, with my system uh, since the last time I've uh, uh, shot Orion so uh, not too much here has changed but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, clear skies and, uh, and shooting tonight. I'm also going to be using, which I do in every photo, uh, is the uh, Celestron Rasa light pollution filter. Okay, I find that a very good light pollution filter. And under these Bordel 5 skies, um, we're going to see just as how well that performs. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to wait for it to get a bit darker. And then I'm going to start all my polar alignment. And uh, we should be underway. Well, it's dark enough now to begin polar alignment, and this is the part where I get excited. All right, because we're just about ready to image. All right, so my index markers are all aligned, mounts all powered up, ASI is uh, connected. Um, so the next step is polar alignment. All right, so I've just finished all the uh, polar alignment and uh, tonight's target is going to be NGC 3372 or better known as the Eta Carina Nebula. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, so throughout the whole night I'm just going to be imaging the Eta Carina Nebula and there's one thing I want to try out and that's the uh, Meridian Flip with the ASIS. So I'm going to enable that tonight too and, uh, and see how that goes. So uh, yeah, I'm going to get start. I'm going to start uh, imaging, and uh, I'll probably report back to you as early hours of the morning. and I'm going to uh, cool, it, cool it night soon. Um, I've taken, I think, probably just over 300 uh, photographs with the exposures ranging from 60 seconds to 120 seconds. Um, and with this ZWA, I've used a gain of about 100, 120, set up minus 10 degrees. Um, so, yeah, the images look like they're coming up really well. Uh, so we'll just have to see what it looks like when it's all stacked up. Um, let me know in the comments if you think I should do another imaging session on Eta Carina and then add those images to uh, this final image that you'll see uh, soon. Um, if you've enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to uh, hit that subscribe, like and uh, throw us out a comment. Well, stay safe everyone and healthy. Until next time, take it easy. See ya.